Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we are here to talk about the brand new Natasha Denona Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum. That's the full name, but we'll break it down a bit. It is available in three shades, and I have all three right here, as you see. Um, they are $22 each, or you can do what I did and snag the bundle of them on Natasha Denona's website for $56 instead of $66 nice to save where we can, right? Okay, so these are three shades, and though the full name is the Liquid Blush Serum, they're actually a slightly thicker, and we'll compare them in a minute here, a slightly thicker liquid blush, also a lip stain. Now look, we know it's marketing speak. You can use any makeup product anywhere, really, Within reason, I do know that there are some pressed powders that are harder on some people's eyes than others. So within reason though, we can pretty much apply, you can go ahead and apply a lipstick as a blush, and in fact, they're beautiful that way. So it's not like we need Natasha Denona's uh, permission to use this on cheeks and as a lip stain, but it is nice that the artist herself kind of considers it great for both. Um, so it's more of a recommendation and not a rule. And that is how Natasha Denona, the makeup artist and founder of the company, is advertising the product as cheek and lips, which I am actually wearing the shade Bloom today. So we're gonna look at all, I've got double cheek and lip swatches for you in all three shades. And we're gonna talk about it and compare it to some of its most popular competitors on the liquid blush scene at the moment. Lisa Eldridge will be releasing some very soon. They're not here, obviously, today. So that is why, if you're watching this video a little later down the line, that is why, at time of filming, they have not been released yet, and that will certainly give these a run for their money, won't it? Okay, so let's talk about it. We've got three shades. Tan, which is a, surprise, surprise, peachy tan shade. Daria, a pinky coral shade, and Bloom, a true cherry. Boy, Daria is gonna have a big head. She's the only one that got one named after her. The others are tan and Bloom. Daria must be like on cloud nine. That's pretty special, huh? Okay, so let's look at them on um, an arm swatch, and then I'm gonna show you some full uh, cheek swatches. Okay, so let's look at tan. That's a creative name there. First of all, I wanna show you the way it works. So we have a really fat, and flat um, doe foot applicator there. And I'm gonna show it to you here on my arm. There is one little streak of it and two little streaks. This is awfully pretty. They, it's described as a peachy tan and it has a very kind of golden look to it. And there is a third swipe for you there. Let's look at Daria, the only one to actually get a name. Surprised she didn't just call it pink. So here's how it comes out. There's one swipe, two swipes, three swipes, and I'll also, you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop for a moment here, and also just kind of spread them out a little bit. So here's the way that would thin out on the cheek for you, and here's the way Daria would spin out on the cheek or the lips for you, and then I'll do the same with Bloom. You're getting a sneak peek. Peek. Bloom is what I'm wearing right now on both my cheeks and on my lips. Here it is right there. And there it is, just kind of, oops. There it is, one, two, three. Let me show you again in case I was out of frame. Sorry about that. And then there it is spread out. Now this one, which I am wearing now, I have to tell you I had first used Tan and Daria for our little photos there that I did in a moment, which I'm gonna show you. So when I went in with Bloom, I went in a bit heavy-handed and did have to, have to add some concealer over the top. So watch out for this one, it definitely packs a punch. But the other two are extremely subtle. Now, what does it feel like? It's a very cool, moussey texture, a little thinner than a mousse, a little bit thinner than a mousse, more like a true liquid blush. Um, I brought out my Surratt liquid blush, blush that was released recently. Again, we don't have Lisa Eldridge's, but that is a much thinner, as you can see, that's got a much thinner consistency. And then I also brought out, just for fun, the uh, Bite Beauty. They have their, um, like a whipped 
liquid blush and that is much 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 as you can see there much 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 thicker it doesn't even run the Surratt would actually run down your arm and the new Natasha Denona is actually kind of not to make this like Goldilocks and the three bears but it's actually kind of the porridge that's just right to be honest with you and it's actually a uh, very, very pretty. Especially, I like these two. You can just go in with abandon, whereas the darker bloom shade, you have to be a tad bit more careful, I admit. Learn from my mistake. Let's cut away to me doing full cheek and lip swatches of all three colors so you could see, and then we will come back and chat about it a little bit. Stay right there. Okay, which one is your favorite? Look, if you're looking to get in on, I want to say the liquid blush trend, but liquid blushes have always been here and always been beautiful. But this being the upcoming summer of the blush, so to speak, this is a really good liquid blush. Of all of them out there, I really do like the Syrah. I love the um, Bite Beauty Bite. It's messy. We'll talk about that in a follow-up video. It's messy. Um, these are not messy. They're easy to use. They're really pretty. I've been playing with them for a few hours today, wearing the different shades as I got interrupted during filming, and they seem to really last. They're very pretty. For $22, you get a nice amount of product. It's a small little bottle, but it would last you a while. I mean, I know these are going to last me certainly all through summer and beyond, which, you know, that's very, very nice product, actually. I am curious if you heard about this release or if it kind of slid under the wire for you. This didn't get the same amount of hype as a Natasha Denona eye palette would get. So these kind of surprised me when they popped up um, on the market. And I'd like to know if they surprised you too, or if you're thinking of getting one or two or three, or um, you might be waiting for the Lisa Eldridge release, which are also might give these a run for the money. So we'll have to look at those all together when hers arrive. But tell me what you think below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I sure hope you did. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.